Hi everyone, here is a Kovix motorcycle alarm disc lock. This model is called KDL6 and it has a 6mm push down locking pin. Compared to other motorcycle disc locks, this one has a built in alarm with an on off function. Some people may be concerned about waterproofing since there is electronics inside the lock. So I'll now show you it is waterproof by rinsing it with water. We'll let that rinse under the water for a while and come back to it a bit later. Now I'm going to show you how the lock works. When you slide the lock onto the disc brake, you'll hear a bleep sound. Then you can push down the locking pin and lock the disc with any of the holes that the locking pin can go through. After five seconds, you'll hear a long beep, which means that the alarm is going into activation. After a further five seconds, the alarm is ready. So let's pretend somebody is trying to break your lock or steal your motorbike. You can hear the 120 decibel alarm sounding to scare off any potential thief. The alarm will go for 10 seconds and then it will reset. So you can hear the alarm activating again. We just unlock to deactivate. Now I'll show you how to lock the disc lock without the alarm. You can slide the lock onto the disc brake twice within five seconds and you will hear two beeps sound. This means that no alarm is set. After which you can push down the locking pin to lock the disc with any other holes that the locking pin can go through. Now the lock is locked without the alarm. So with your lock you will receive a user manual which has the warranty, an allen key which is used when replacing the battery and also three keys. With the keys there is a key code. This code can be used if you lose the keys and need replacements. You can go to your local distributor or email Kovix directly to get new keys sent to you. So now I'm going to show you how to change the battery in the lock. First use the allen key to release the screw and remove the lock cover. Then take out the alarm module and remove the waterproof rubber. And then you can replace the battery with a new CR2 battery. Reinstall the waterproof rubber and the alarm module and reinstall the cover and make sure it fits to the lock body perfectly. Finally, use the Allen key to tighten the screw. So let's come back to the waterproof test and see how the lock is working.